overhyped and overpriced. This was US tech stocks at the start of the year. Both big tech firms had price to earnings ratios reminiscent of a dot com bubble of 2001. Yet the unexpected arrival of DeepSeek, a new Chinese AI alternative, has sent US stocks into a spin. Nvidia and other leading US AI firms have always told us that AI requires massive computational power and huge energy resources. The conventional wisdom is that to develop an AI model can take up to $1 billion. Facebook are planning to invest $65 billion and must talk of a $1 trillion investment in the necessary power centers and energy sources. But then along comes DeepSeek, who claim that for a mere $6 million, they've created a better model which uses much less energy because of more efficient uh, programming and algorithms. The result was that Nvidia stock fell 17%, $600 billion wiped off in a single day. And although it's recovered a little bit, there could be a lot more falls to come. If DeepSeek really is the start of alternative cheaper AI models, it has huge implications and we could see more value wiped off from Nvidia and other companies like that. Do you remember the first search engines like Archie, Yahoo and AltaVista? They seemed really impressive at the time, ready to transform technology until someone else came along Google and made them all look pretty useless. DeepSeek have an app that you can download to your computer and run it from there. This is transformational for the possibilities of AI. It could make early AI models like ChatGPT look pretty primitive in about 5-10 years time. DeepSeek gives a scope for limited localized use. And whilst there are very legitimate concerns about Chinese censorship of uh, DeepSeek, I won't be giving my personal information away. Uh, it is based on open source technology, which means that big firms could lose their monopoly power. Currently, NVIDIA, the leading producer of AI chips, is insanely profitable because it has an effective monopoly power. But if Chinese engineers can create a low cost AI, then it's only a matter of time before even better programs around the world emerge and the prospect is it will be very cheap to use. AI technology without the massive uh, demand for electricity and power is actually something to be really welcomed. And in fact, if AI can be used with much less power, this, this has big impact for the energy industry who have been planning to invest heavily in uh, power sources like uh, renewable energy, nuclear, gas turbines to help power the AI centers of the future. And since the news of deep seek, many, many energy companies saw a big slide in their share values too. And also, of course, if AI uses less energy, it frees up more renewable energy to take the place of fossil fuels, which can help not only help the environment, but also help keep a lid on energy prices. The need to be drilling for oil and gas may be much less if energy demand is going to grow much more slowly than previously predicted. So good news there. Now, there are legitimate questions about deep seek. Did it really only cost six million dollars? OpenAI claimed that deep seek actually used its own AI chips to teach it uh, many of the things that it took it a long time to learn. Certainly Chinese companies have a long history of ignoring uh, copyright laws and the growing trade friction and uh, economic conflict between the two countries. It's hardly surprising if Chinese companies cut corners. In fact, Beijing has reacted very positively to the news, kind of enjoying the challenge to the long noted superiority of American AI firms. And given Trump's desire to place more tariffs on China to try to reduce the American trade deficit, homegrown Chinese AI could be very influential in any future trade war. And ironically, it was actually the ban, the US ban of uh, AI chips to China in 2022 that may well have spurred this recent development. It caused the Chinese to look for more efficient uses of existing chips. Now, China has a large pool of uh, skilled labor and programmers. And given the financial incentives and the need to be independent of American AI chips, it has supercharged this investment into an industry with a particular focus on making the most efficient use of resources that you can. It's also worth bearing in mind that artificial intelligence is still in its infancy. 
There's still a scope for huge upswing and development in the coming years. What will emerge in 5-10 years time may be very different to what we envisage now. DeepSeek may well be the first of many, much cheaper alternatives. NVIDIA, its very high share price and high price to earnings ratios, may increasingly look overvalued, even despite the setback it experienced uh, two days ago. The other big news is that is this uh, correction in tech share prices, the beginning of the end of the US stock market boom, which has pushed the US economy forward in recent years. The US stock market as a share of GDP has really uh, surged in recent decades largely actually on the performance of big tech shares. This could be the tipping point which uh, causes a long overdue market correction. And with President Trump pushing forward with uh, a trade war, the shine on the US economy is starting to dim somewhat. However, there's a, another aspect to all this news, and that is that if AI is cheaper, it will be a boon for end users like firms and consumers it could lead to a much faster deployment and greater consumption. It's like when electric lighting was first developed. Initially, it was really expensive. Very few people used it. But with technological improvements, economies of scale, it becomes uh, more generally affordable. Everyone's using it all the time. So if AI is cheaper, it may be really good news for producers and consumers. And it could lead to the paradox. But if it's much cheaper, it has a much wider deployment, much wider use. The other thing I want to add about all this news is that am I alone in being unexcited by artificial intelligence? I tried ChatGPT a few times, but found it rarely helpful uh, to change anything for my uh, way of life or even my business or even producing these videos. The only thing I really want to ask DeepSeek is why uh, does DeepSeek be unable to give truthful answers about Tiananmen Square Massacre or something like that? Is the whole AI thing actually overvalued? I hope so. Perhaps there's a self-interest there because perhaps the future is that AI will take over my job as an economist and writer and making videos. Perhaps, it, perhaps the AI of the future will be so powerful that it will create videos that you want to watch without any human interaction. But I'm not sure that's going to happen. I hope not. I should also add that my track record in predicting technology is not exactly great. I remember being unimpressed by the first email in the mid-1990s. I wasn't too convinced about mobile phones either. So uh, don't take it as gospel that AI, AI won't take off. But despite considerable wariness over Chinese tech firms, in a way I have actually kind of enjoyed seeing a, a kind of a wake-up call to big US tech firms. And generally speaking, the main thing is you're just really happy with the idea that future AI may not be this massive consumer of energy and power, which does seem a kind of a waste of resources to me. So it's a really good thing if AI becomes at least uh, less power intensive. And don't forget, we also, we also talk about how computing power gets exponentially cheaper over the years. There's no reason why that won't happen to AI too. Just a few weeks ago, I made a video about is the US heading to a financial crash? Now, I don't claim to be Nostradamus, I just got lucky. But I do think the video is worth checking out, which goes into more detail on some of the aspects of the overvaluation of the US stock market.